Hey everybody, I got some great news. Great Ayondere is officially back on YouTube. Yeah! <laughs> That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a sentence I could have said about 1,500 times these past four years. This guy is constantly leaving YouTube and coming back, then leaving, and coming back, then leaving, and coming back. I, I kind of feel like I'm, I'm being played with right now. Either way, I should probably point out that this video is sponsored by Adam and Eve. Go to adamandeve.com and use code PINELY to get a 50% discount off of one item and free shipping in the US and Canada. Some exclusions apply. They got a 90-day no-hassle return policy, which is pretty great. And I should point out that 20% of their profits go to fight the spread of HIV around the world. Pretty incredible stuff. Also, if you're not an adult, uh, this is not for you. Thank you very much. Now, every time I decided to watch Grades Return videos, I'll be honest, things felt more and more off to me. And really, with this brand new video of his, this feeling definitely reached some sort of peak for me. I mean, just, what the hell is this supposed to be, man? What? <laughs> now, if you don't know who Great is, the guy was really huge, especially back in 2016 for his rant-style videos, which I was definitely a big fan of at the time. I really liked his sort of MS Paint art style and his funny personality. Guy was a big inspiration for me when I started off, what can I say? But the thing that's kind of upsetting to see, and it's even hard for me to say this, is that it sort of feels like in some way or another, he pretty much stayed in that year, in 2016, as if he was frozen like Han Solo, and every once in a while, the people that have him kept just decide to defrost him to make a video about goddamn, I don't know, PC culture and SJWs. It's almost like I might blink one day and I'll see that he released a video about BuzzFeed being cringe or whatever. That's not to say that his channel is like dead or anything like that. It is definitely far, far, far from it. Great has an incredibly dedicated audience that watches everything that he releases. I mean, he pretty much constantly gets like 1 million views a video. Maybe him sticking to his guns was the right call all along. And I'm just a big dumb idiot box baby, who knows? Since Grade's most recent return, he has made a total of two videos. One of them, the first is called I Hate Raising Awareness. I gave it a watch and I thought it was all right besides one very lazy joke that I think I've heard about a trillion times now. Mate, there's more awareness days than there are genders now. And that's saying something. This is coming from a man I've heard refer to himself as a comedian. That's a joke. I'm a, you forget that I'm a comedian. Haha. <laughs> so many uh, genders nowadays, everybody. I can't even count all the genders on both hands. So many genders. Matter of fact, from here on out, I'm going to decide that I'm a, an Apache helicopter. Isn't that fucking incredible? Yeah, I, I know my grade A impression is pretty spot on. If you want to make an edgy joke, go ahead. No one's actually physically stopping you. But I've been hearing this one for five fucking years. I don't care anymore. Other than that, though, I, I don't really have that much of a problem with this video. He talks about this current culture of Twitter activism where some people don't actually go out and fight for what they believe in, but rather choose to just kind of tweet out some lazy hashtag that commands you to normalize something or be aware of something. It's definitely something to think about. Uh, it's a pretty decent rant topic in my opinion. His next video though... Oof. Man. I saw this title and thumbnail before it even premiered, and I just had this feeling of pure dread rumbling in my stomach. I knew that something not good awaits here, something not very good at all. The title itself just weighed on me for a while. I was genuinely out there in my real life existing, thinking about this title. It's insane, isn't it? Is it overhyped? What? Who out there is really hyped up for COVID? I wanna see that person and have a little chat with them. And then a bit later, the video was actually out. I decided to watch it in its full entirety. And, well, I don't like it. I, I, not very much at all. I'd even say that it's the video of his that I don't like the most. And I'm, I'm definitely not the only one that thinks that way, because this is by far the worst like to dislike ratio the guy's ever gotten in his whole life. And he once dared to make a video about Ray William Johnson, you know, the singer of Doing Your Mom. That's not really a, a person you should mess with. Great has been in so many internet feuds over the years, why is this the one video that made Grade's own fan dislike his stuff? People who have stuck by him for years and years. Well, that's because it's dumb as hell. This video is a goddamn enigma. It left me way more confused than I was before I watched it. I still don't understand what he meant by overhyped. Because he barely states his own points in his video. He barely says what his opinion is. Does he mean that we shouldn't have cared about this disease as much as we did? Is it that the rush to get vaccinated is, I don't know, 
dumb or something? What is it, Grade? Say it. What do you think should have been done differently? I genuinely want to know your opinion. That's why I clicked on your video. But no, uh, we don't get any answers for any of that. Luckily, I got to watch the DLC version of this video, which is the stream that he did afterwards. And uh, yeah, it definitely managed to clear up things a little bit for me. So, you know, whatever. Do you want to trust vaccines to keep you immune? Or would you rather trust your own immune system? I'd go for my immune system. Now, this whole video is really just a big, massive math equation. It's just a bunch of numbers being said out loud. Grade states at the beginning of this, Hey everybody, what I'm going to talk to you about right now is pure facts. And if you disagree with this, you are getting butt hurt over facts. We'll have a nice debate about all this if facts make your butt hurt. You goddamn stupid idiots. Which is a, a statement that I do have my problems with. Anyways, he says, okay, uh, let, let's take this group of about 40,000 people and in fact, all of them with COVID. You probably don't even know this, but the death rate of this disease it's just 2%, a measly 2%. COVID is deadly great, but it's not 70% or something. Wrong, it's just over 2%. What? Now, I don't know if there's anyone who's watching this video that just woke up from a coma recently, but personally speaking, I've been in this pandemic for almost two years. I know this number, most people I speak to know this number. Nothing really groundbreaking has been said right now. I know this number, but he's acting as if this is some life-changing information. It's all common knowledge at this point, Grade A Andre, not to mention that this was a number that was mainly relevant at a point of this pandemic when everyone wasn't vaccinated. For some reason, Grade decides not to really mention that. I'm not sure why. Everyone has to get a vaccine. I mean, I'm young, I'm healthy, I've got natural immunity. Why do I have to get a vaccine and stuff? Ah, okay, that, that explains it. Anyways, he's, he's like, okay, let's take this uh, 2% out of 40,000. That right there, ends up being some kind of number. Out of that number, a big old chunk of the deaths is actually just old people. Can you believe it? That's crazy. Ah, oh, COVID is deadly great. It kills people of all ages, young and old, equally and indiscriminately. Wrong. I've never met anyone who has said anything similar to what this penis has said in my whole life. Especially nowadays, who the hell is great hanging out with? A bunch of little babies who were born right now, right this instant, and they just haven't gotten the chance to hear this piece of information yet? We all know that older people are the main ones affected by it. No one thinks that it affects all people of all ages equally. No one has ever said that. Anyways, that doesn't matter. As far as this video is concerned, who gives a rat's ass about these dumb old people? Not me. That's a joke, by the way. Grandpa and Grandpa, I know you watch my videos. I love you. And then you got another chunk that's just people that are a bit less old, that they can go to hell to. Then you, you end up with 25 young people deaths. Uh, but hey, uh, don't feel bad about them just yet. No, no, no. Because apparently 24 of those 25 suckers actually had some kind of underlying health condition they can't even control. So... Haha, <laughs> off to the trash you go, you, you bunch of losers. Fun fact about me, I have asthma, very light asthma. But if I were not to be around anymore because of this thing, I might be bundled up in that group too. So, uh, yeah, sucks to be me, right? Haha. <laughs> and then, ladies and gentlemen, out of this massive group of 40,000 people who Grey decided to infect, we're only left with one. One poor soul who died and is also a young and healthy person. B bit of a funny coincidence. This also happens to be the main demographic who watches Grades' videos. W what a wild little world we live in, huh? I decided to put on my Mr. YouTuber mask for this. I have so many problems with this video. First of all, where's the empathy, man? You're saying this number, 2%, as if that's like, what, nothing at all? That's one out of 50 people. I I'd call that quite a substantial number. I just don't really think it's anything to brush off at all. But then he like reassures us by saying that, oh no, it's fine, because you know, those 2% are actually all the old, obese, and sick people, so... Eh, who gives a shit? Yeah, yeah, rest in peace, you cut. Asthma, schmasthma, that's what I say. But you know what, that doesn't actually matter. We're, we're gonna take all of what I said right now about empathy and all that crap and put that into the feelings box. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Grade says at the beginning of this video that if you don't agree with what he has to say, you're essentially disagreeing with facts. You're getting butt hurt over facts. Now yes, I agree the numbers that he says in this video 
are not numbers that he made out or plucked out of thin air. They're actual real numbers. That's a fact. But that is just one fact. That is just one part of a bigger story. It's the one fact that you decided to show because it sort of fits with what you're trying to say. What Great is essentially doing is taking this big topic and narrowing it down. So the only thing that we think about when watching this are the numbers that are put in front of our faces. But if you wake up from this little trance for just a second, a few questions might pop up like, Hey, uh, Great, what about all those people that suffer from the effects of COVID after having that, you know? young people as well. And also, what about hospitalizations? Huh? That's that's like one of the biggest things that people talk about when they mention the dangers of COVID. At the peak of this, hospitals were absolutely collapsing under the weight of this whole pandemic. There were places where ventilators literally ran out. I think we can all agree that that is pretty bad, right? That That's not a good thing at all. It just seems so odd not to mention any of this. Why would he not mention any of this? Does he not think that that would be something that would be on everyone's minds when watching this video? Kinda neat how you ignored hospitalizations to the level that hospitalized bed staff are over and foregoing care. Like I said, I watched the stream that he did after this, and you really, you gotta understand, there were so many people in the comments that didn't get why he didn't address this at all. So I watched the stream to get an answer for that, and every time someone donated to him money asking him something like, Hey, but great, what about hospitalizations? His response would literally be something along the lines of, Oh uh, yeah, but I still think it's overhyped. I had a brain surgery postponed for six months because of lack of bed. It's serious and the lack of people taking it seriously fucks everyone up. Yeah, but some people overtake it seriously. Like nowadays again with the vaccine. Oh no, actually, wait a second. I made a mistake. There was one time where he did say more than that. And that's when one of his fans said something that essentially leaned a lot more towards Grade's existing point of view. Most of the hospitals are empty next to me. Just everyone overreacting to the new flu at this point. Yeah, Richie, that's why I hear a lot of that as well. Like you get some people that say, The fucking hospitals are packed! And then you get others that are saying, mate, they're fucking empty. So I'm at a point where it's like, I don't know who to believe, but you know, I've, I've got an inclination towards one side, but I won't say that. Ah, you see guys, I don't know who to believe. Some people are saying this, some are saying that. Who should I trust? I don't know, I guess the version of things that sticks a lot more to what I already believed in in the first place. That seems pretty safe. Okay, I think you heavily under understated the issues of COVID in your video by focusing on death. There are a lot of issues that can happen with COVID other than death and hospitals are already overpacked with people. My mother is exhausted every day. All right, nice one, but- Oh my God. I'm watching the VOD of this stream right now and Gray just said that uh, this video is going to have a second part where he's going to talk all about the vaccines, which I'm sure is going to be- uh, it's, go it's going to be an interesting one. That's that's a fact. Oh, uh, I can predict it right now. Ah, yes. All these stupid SJWs are always saying my body, my choice. So what about getting vaccinated, huh? Also my body, my choice. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Get the guys that like, you know, my body, my choice. You shouldn't be telling me what to do with my body. But then they tell you what to do with your body and say, take the fucking vaccine. If you want to see me respond to that video when it's out, which is supposed to be a bit after this video, feel free to subscribe to my brand new channel, Mr. Pinely. Uh, the link is gonna be in the description. This is how the channel looks like. I'll be constantly wearing my Mr. YouTuber mask, and I'll be uploading a lot more videos, which I, I think that's something that people like. Oh, we need a diarrhea vaccine! What fully pushed me over the edge here is just how frustrated I was at the fact that this video didn't actually have much of a point. I didn't cut a lot of stuff out or anything, this is it. It is just him saying the statistical stuff while barely having a conclusion. What we mainly do see in the conclusion section of this video is just him repeating the exact same statistics from earlier. And that's it. Oh, don't get me wrong, right? Has it killed a lot of people? Absolutely. But is it an equal risk to everyone? Absolutely not. Man, no one has ever said that in their goddamn life. By the way, fun fact about this whole video, Great A. Andre lives in the UK which, as you might know, hasn't had any restrictions for like a few solid months now. So, 
I don't know what the hell is he talking about. Man, I can't wait to see how this comment section is gonna look like. Feel free to like this video because I'm sure some of Great's fans will definitely not. And let me know what you thought of Great's video if you've seen it, especially if you're a longtime fan of his. I'd definitely like to know what your opinion is about all this. Let's continue this discussion, hey? Subscribe to my Mr. Pinely channel right now, or I'm gonna start crying in the middle of this YouTube video. And if you wanna have a little chat with me, I'm fairly responsive on my Twitter with at Pinely with two Y's, and on my Instagram, at PinelyBox, where you can see pictures of this face. Uh, besides that, goodbye.